As a parent, raising a family has its challenges. How many times have I told you not to play ball in the house? But growing up in a family has its challenges too. Mine can't take this no more. Let me share a little bit about what mine was like with you. Uncle, where do you get your information from? Right up on Facebook, you show me. Guess what? Lisa got her period. But don't get me wrong, we had fun too. I like you like one, two, three. <laughs> I can't wait to share more about For We Family. Things on up on seven family. So it's time for us to get the inside scoop on Fui family. So to give us an insight into everything. So how can you tune in? What is the objective about this show? We have representatives from the National Commission for Families and Children talking to us about it. So let me introduce our guest. We have Ms. Franisha Augustin, the Executive Director of NCFC. Good morning, Good morning Ms. Franisha. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine. And you? We're good. We're good. We're excited okay. about this conversation. Let me introduce your colleagues as well. We have Mr. Marcos August. Morning, Marcos. How are you feeling? Excellent. Yeah, that's a good vibe for the Monday. We love it. And we also have Ms. Nadira Ross, who's the, a part of the National Parenting Task Force yes. and represented the Ministry of Education. Yes. Good morning, Ms. Ross. How are you feeling? I'm great. And you? I'm good. I like that color on you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good color, right? The Monday look, man. It's the Monday look. It's a little vibe, a little freshness, Definitely. man. We will both start with take over the Monday. Yeah. And so let's take over the show too as well and talk yeah. about what's happening for the show. We just saw the preview just now. For we family. Mm. Let's talk a little bit about the, the inception of thinking about for we family. How do we get to this place that we said, you know what? There should be a show. You mentioned before we got on um, the actual segment that you know there is a parenting guide that people can be able to access that has, you know, tools and tips to help govern the way they parent their children. You know, every child is different, so we can't use the exact same exactly. thing, but it's good to have a skeleton to work with. Mm -hmm. But people not always like read. <laughs> That's so, true. <laughs> yeah. Tell me a little bit about, you know, the idea of like, let's go into something else. Let's branch into TV. Let's branch mm -hmm. into something that gives them that video representation. How was it that, you know, we came up to that idea? I guess I'm not sure if you could do it, Ms. Ranisha? So what happened is that um, I think we were having a discussion. It was in 2013, 2014, thereabouts. Okay. The National Parenting Task Force came about. So, um... Again, the National Parenting Task Force is the committee um, that belongs to NCFC, the National Commission for Families and Children. And what they wanted us to do was for us to work with other agencies and basically sing the same song. So we gathered people from the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Human Development, representative from the Ministry of Health, BFLA, all organizations that we know deals with families and children and try to see, okay, then how can we come together as a group and try to look at parenting in general and how we can assist the wider populace when it comes to parenting. So the first thing that was created was the, um, the parenting guide, like you rightfully okay. said. So the parenting guide, the parenting guide was created. And using that same parenting guide, that's how we now have the parenting show. Okay. So, All right. again, we had uh, um, about three weeks ago, we had the International Day of the Families at the Battlefield Park, where we were distributing guides as well, because I realized that a lot of people, they weren't too sure about the guide, they didn't know where to get the guide. And so we said, you know something, let's go out there and give them the guide. And that's what we did. Guide them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> Mr. Marcus, who is also the um, IEC officer at NCFC, he goes out to the schools and then he shares the information with the children, even though they're not parents, you know, but he shares tips um, how they can make or alleviate some of the, the, the not so stress, but behaviors that they may have um, um, for their parents, you know. And then he also shares the parenting guide and other tools with teachers. Okay. Yeah, All and right. also that. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for that background. It's good to know where it started, where it's going. And I have to commend you for the, for the show because it's, it's very, it feels very Belizean-ish. You know, from the, from the title, Fui Family, already makes me think, okay, it's, it's created to our context. And yeah. I love the fact that it also has diverse people within the mm -hmm. families, right? Within the characters that I'm seeing exactly. there. So I'm guessing, Marcos, you're, you're the person to give us a guide into what can people expect from this show? Uh, the show will basically give tips and skills on how to be I wouldn't say better, but improve your parenting skills. That's right. one of the main things with the show. Um, for example, in the show, in, in one of the 
that there's a child that did something and then she said that if the me mama mia don't beat me up. Okay. And then the other child, when her parent is around, you know there's a positive way in which that parent handles specific situations. Things like that you're gonna see. Things like that you're gonna expect to see. Yeah. I like that. And so I like how Kevin said, you know, the idea of being able to apply it to the Belize and context. Because yeah. we know that Belize, you know, forget lash. That the one thing where, where come, discipline come with that. Mm-hmm. that sometimes it make you pick your belt if, if the, it comes to what that idea. Want. That's true. But there are many ways in which you can parent a child. And I think it's very important in which we understand that. And like you said, it's not about being a better parent. It's improving the parenting mm-hmm. styles. Because a lot of times, with parenting guides, so some people think that you just call it a bad mark. Huh? Mm-hmm. And in reality, it's not that. It's just saying, you know, we're doing it this way, but we could possibly do it this other way too yeah. well and see what are the results for that. So could you talk to, talk to us a little bit about, you know, more of the topics that are coming from? As you said, I was going to come directly from the parenting guide. But zoom us in. Like, how many episodes we're going to be having? We're going to have how many seasons? Like, what are we looking at when it comes to what people can expect? For the overall show? Well, we have 13 episodes. The first season, we are going to be showing six, and then the second season, seven. But coming back to the point that Kevin raised, that he said that, you know, he, it's Belizeanish. Um, that is what we want. We want to showcase our culture, families within our Belizean setting, within our Belizean society. Why would I showcase? a family setting that I cannot relate to, right? right? right. Yeah. And so one of the important things that we did when we brought about this parenting show is that we know that there are varied issues across the country in terms of how you parent. There is not one set way to parent. Exactly. Um, I will revert to my educational background. Each child is unique in his or her own way. And I can't parent you how I parent you. I can't take an umbrella approach or a, a direct approach to parenting. So this show, like, like we said, comes, the topics come from the guide. So we will look at child development. When we talk about child development, what are we talking about? Raising that child, the art of parenting. How do you parent? We look at sexual reproduction. I mean, we can't have young men and young women Raising young men and young women and not allowing them to speak about themselves. Yeah, mm-hmm. like talk that. about in a talk about that in a way that I can understand and I can relate to you. And I could say, you know what, mommy, this is what I'm going through. Daddy, this is what I'm going through. But we put that in a way in the parenting shows for families to to understand. Okay, maybe I'm doing it this way, but I can do it yeah. this way. I can try this approach. So it's very it's a show that we tried our best to meet parents where they are. And like Marcus said, it's just not to say that you are not doing the right job, but you can better your skills at parenting, the art of your, how you parent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, like I, it, it caught my attention when the, one of the actors said, um, oh, she's having her menstruation or she had her period, you know, yeah. for, because for me working in the area of sexually reproductive health, that's like a hard topic. And, and parents would not know, how do I tell my daughter, or how do I tell my child about this is, this is going to happen in puberty? And they might just like give you all of these taboo… Um, frightening exactly. about anything Yeah, else. frightening about That's anything true. rather than saying, it's normal what you're going through and, and it's part of life. But I'm also gathering, and, and, and please clarify me on this, is this, this is not a show just for parents, not so for the mom and dad to sit down, right? It's a yeah. show for the whole for family the to whole interact family. and be like, hey mom, did you see that? Like… This is how you're supposed to tell me. Like, oh, this is how you talk to me. And I'm like, well, you know what? I try to do that over here. Right? <laughs> yeah. Because I feel like people could identify themselves. Like you said, it's very relatable. So mm-hmm. in that sense, you can actually watch a parent and be like, that's oh, how I act. Mm, not that me. Oh, that's how the child acts too as well. Mm-hmm. So children can also, I know you mentioned that um, uh, Mr. Marcus goes out into the schools and yeah. like, talks to the kids. I think it's an excellent idea for kids to bring home information to parents mm-hmm. and say, you know, this is what I learned here. Could we try this or so? Because it opens a conversation. Because I think on, in general, sometimes the approach parents have sometimes with kids, it comes off more like, I just want to tell you what to do instead of I want to understand you. Mm-hmm. And it's so important that we help children to understand themselves so they can be able to dialogue with their parents. Exactly. Yeah. That's a key. Yeah, yeah. Just, just to add, um, besides being sure, 
Um, you guys could access the parenting guide on all our social media platforms. Okay. We have a central hub called Linktree. And if you guys go on our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, click the link tree. The guide is right there. There's also the summary for it. Mm -hmm. This is for general knowledge. So yeah. Just just for clarification again, like Kevin is going over. It's going to be like an episode where we're going to have a scenario taking place, right? Yeah. And so in that scenario, it's going to be taking, teaching about child development or something to that extent. And so that's going to be played out and we're going to see it done the right way and the wrong way. Or how is it going to be, how are we going to be able to identify the right way? Is it just automatically going to be done the right way or, or the better way or like the improved way yeah. where we can let, do let, it? Let him, I, would let him, say, yeah. I would say this. Stay tuned and watch the show. Yeah. So, you want so, to left them on a cliffhanger. I, I like it. I like that. I like that. I like the, the, the suspense but there. But each episode is different. Each episode each is different. Each episode is different. But it follows like a series, like like the same family throughout the yes, event? Yes, it's the same story? family, same family ah, throughout. Yeah. However, each episode is different. So each episode go, well ends a different way. The storyline is different. So indeed, it's something for you to... Tune into. It's a must-watch every episode yes, it kind is. of thing. I understand. You can't miss any episode. No. no. Don't miss any episode. What I think too as well, they should be grabbing their parenting guide too as well. Yes, and they like, should. In some way, like they follow the episode with the parenting guide and mm -hmm. like try like dock it down or so. You know, that kind of study guide thing where they could like really get into it to understand really. Because like I said, books, people are reading, but it only goes so much. When you're seeing that representation on your screen, I feel like you connect a little bit more. Yeah. Relate because you can see yourself in those situations. They all learn yeah. differently. Exactly. I might be a visual learner. I might be someone that reads and, and learns. I can be both. Exactly. So doing it that way, I could listen. I could be in more in tune with what I'm seeing. I could relate to it. I could say, you know what? Oh, I need to change. I need to look at things differently mm -hmm. because you no. Know, I always say that you said Renata earlier. Um, we need a guide for guide. However, I, I always say we don't, when we were born, our parents weren't given a manual and say, so you know what? Yeah. We'll Kevin, this is how you will parent Kevin or Renata, this is how you will parent Renata. If it was that way, who we would have. Yeah. It's so easy, exactly. right? Everybody yeah. might have exactly. doing it. No you know what, I'm, what I'm also thinking that it's so beneficial for young parents, especially how as, as young, like young First people who are parents, time, yeah. you never... Fully grew up to say, hey, like I, I learned and I really rounded myself as an individual to be a better parent, right? Yeah. You were just thrown out there and you have to figure out your way. So, I mean, this is an opportunity for us. We've been talking about, you know, breaking generational trauma, breaking generational Break curses. curses. So, mm -hmm. this is one way of how we can say, we're here, so let's address the issues and let's become better as, as, as folks, as citizens. So, for our viewers, Marcus, maybe you can help me out here. What are the, the details for the show? What time is it going to be showing? Where days and everything. Please, I think Mrs. Augustine could better help. <laughs> Mrs. Augustine, it will be the, um, it will be launched the twenty third of June on Channel Five at eight pm. So every Thursday thereafter, a new episode will be shown. Okay. So it's just for everybody to look out. Yes. All right. But I know you mentioned there's two seasons. Yes, so there's two seasons. Still, it's gonna be a break. Then you go back to this. We summer. will we will have a one week break okay, and okay. then we go into the next. Just seven years. Yeah. That's good on. enough to, to process. <laughs> Process the show yes. and process the material. And then but, uh, go ahead. Sorry about no, that. Please, it's also ahead. important to um, note that at NCFC, remember, we have the children's agenda. Mm -hmm. And when we look at the children's agenda, one of our um, overall outcome, we want to ensure that the end, at the end of 2030, that Belize is a safe place to raise a family. So then this is one step in which we're heading Most to that, that direction, Beautiful. you know. So it's very important for us to keep all these things in mind. Mm -hmm. So... Since you, since you have the mic now, let me ask you, for parents that are watching the show and they might need some kind of like support system or let's say some guidance. So like I watch the show and it's very interesting, but I want some, some further assistance and improving my parenting. Uh, what kind of services does NCFC can provide to them? See, well, for NCFC, we're, we're, an, in, we're not necessarily an implementing organization. Okay. We advocate and coordinate. Okay. So what we do is that if there is a situation brewing, we will need to get our, the necessary channels involved. So we need to get DHS involved, the okay. police involved. Whatever the situation is, we will need to get the necessary channels involved and ensure that everybody is around that table and fixing whatever situation there is. So it's not necessarily that NCFC will be there and tell Provide you, okay, then you will need to do step one. 
Step one is for you to ensure that your child eats and whatever that situation is, we don't do that. Great, I got it. So yeah. but it would be a, a good first point of contact and you can refer them yes. to an agency. That yes. So that's support. what we do. Perfect, thank so, you for that. And that's very important because I mm -hmm. feel as though a lot of people don't know the work of NCSC and what yeah. we do. They really and truly believe that we're an implementing organization and we're not. Great. So, and that you guys can point them to the current yes, address. Yes, we which can is very do that. To yeah. well. thank so you. don't be afraid to reach out in that um, realm because you can have that conversation and they can say, okay, these are the necessary stakeholders that will be able to take up your case, that will mm -hmm. be provide guidance, shed some light, etc., etc. But they can yep. check with you about the parenting guide. Yes, they can do they that. They can do that. They can okay, do so that. Okay, so nothing else. All right, so as, as we're wrapping up this conversation, we're going to leave with some last words. Please tell to our viewers why they must watch the show. So let's... Let's, let's, let's go, Marcus. Let's go, Marcus. It's, first of all, it's Belizean, and it's going to be the best thing to help you or to assist you with parenting. All right. Right. Okay. Drop mic. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go back, and it's Ms. a Ross? show that will allow you to better your art of parenting. Yeah. So tune in, learn how to be better at your craft, and we will be soaring. Perfect. I like how you use the word art there with parenting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because it is an art. Yeah. It is. Um... For me, it's basically um, learning the, the content that will be presented to them. Um, it's relatable. Um, it's Belizean. And it caters for all walks of life. So it's not really and truly focusing on one status or one status quo. We focus on all walks of life. So Beautiful. it's for them to just tune in. They will not be disappointed. And if they have any questions, suggestions... Anything they would like to see, probably for season three, they could email us and let us know. Okay, then I think that we would need an episode on this particular situation. You know, we're always open because, like I said, we have an episode on COVID-19. And again, remember when the guide was produced, COVID-19 wasn't around. Yeah. yeah. So then we have that that leeway, basically. Is yeah. Evolving to this. Mm -hmm. Family, like what was like five years ago, might not be relevant to today, right? Exactly. So, sold, viewers. There you have a show Guys, to check watch. Check out the show. You have Thank you so much else. for being here. Ask with your us questions. Today. Access the parenting guide. Yep. I mean, don't ever think of it as something that's just telling you what to do. It's something that's offering some assistance to do your art better and improve it. Yeah. Okay. Have those. I think if anything else, this con this this show is gonna start great conversations with parents it and will. children. And so it starts there, that initial seed plant it and say, mm -hmm. how can we grow and be better at what we do, having harmonious relationships with our family? Because I see in the show there's different age ranges. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's super important. So everybody, first time parents, make sure you check out this. But even before you have a baby, if you have the baby in there, the weight, the, the bail up and everything, start Bye. watching the show too <laughs> or so because when the baby pop out, this will give us some very valuable <laughs> we'll lessons. Love it. Right. I really want to thank you all for this initiative. Yes. Thank you for coming. And so with that, we go to our next commercial break. When we're back, we're going to be talking to the Belize Port Authority about scholarships, guys. Exciting news. Stay tuned for that exciting conversation. Can you be a part? What's happening? What scholarships? All these questions and more will be answered.